What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well this weekend. Today we're looking at Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, and we're going to look at a few different charts for Bitcoin. So we actually have lost this low now. We are in a technical target to the 1618. We just, just, just slightly missed it. So we did fall out of this bear flag, this bearish continuation pattern, which I gave you guys. We can get rid of that now. And yeah, we're still technically in this target as long as we're below this one, this wick over here. So maybe we are going to um, carry on to the target. Maybe, like, maybe the target has just been met. I know that it hasn't touched it, but maybe it's already done going down and we're starting to head back up because we do have wicks going downwards and we have now retested this previous resistance point right there. So it is, it is nice that that's now played out. Let's go to the daily time frame. Yeah, you can see that almost, almost, almost came down to there. We'll, let's wait for that 20 daily EMA retest. I wouldn't be confident to say we are now going up before we get a 20 daily EMA retest. I just want to go back to the four hour quickly just to check the the RSI. We do... Mm, mm, yeah, I guess you'd technically have bullish divergence with this, but I don't know if we would really count this as a low. I'll look here. Yeah, so you do have some bear, uh, bullish divergence. Higher, higher lows here, but uh, lower highs on the chart. Will that play out? Maybe in the short term, maybe come back up to this 20. What will happen when we come to this 20? Will we just... Uh, have a little pump like this, get rejected here and continue down, roll over to potentially 39k, an area that we know previously was never respected as support once we got above it. We just flew and came up. Now we're coming back down. We're in and around here. Could we be coming down to it or are we just going to continue up? We will look at some other time frames to gauge this a bit better. Let's go to the daily time frame now. And I just want to show another top chart at the end of the video. So if you're enjoying the video at the moment, please go ahead and Click the like button, of course, subscribe as we're trying to get to 2K subscribers by the end of this month. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel and for growing it as fast as it ha uh, has done. So really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. So on the daily time frame, if we just remove the drawings, we had that shooting star. We now lost that low with a daily candle close and we are anticipating that we're going to get a retest wherever that may be. So that could be on the, the top of this wick here or just in this green box that we've been calling out for that 786 slash the, the 20 EMA. So... No bearish divergence here, just, uh, sorry, no bullish divergence here, just bearish divergence with the higher highs here. And then obviously, uh, sorry, with the lower highs here and then obviously higher highs on the RSI. You can see this high is the high, higher than this, but on the RSI it's lower than that high. So we could do have some bearish divergence. Could we just be forming that inverse head and shoulders we've been talking about for a long while or could this actually get a lot uglier where we do come down and maybe form a double bottom? We'll look at this on another time frame. But yeah, that's it. Let's go to a different Bitcoin chart uh, quickly. So we, we were in this uh, parallel channel. We were respecting it as resistance multiple times, getting rejected, and then we actually burst through. So that's very positive. And now that you burst through out of this downtrend potentially, or at least out of this parallel channel, you're retracing to each high point. You can see you're struggling to break above this high. You actually did not get a daily candle close above it. So if we do get above it, confirm it as support, your next target, you would have some uh, resistance here. But my next target would be up here at this uh, around 52, 53K, uh, 52K level, actually, psychological level. Yeah, 52K psychological level. So the other scenario that can happen, if this is not uh, head and shoulders, we could come down even more, get that retest here, or even, yeah, come down a little bit lower, form some sort of double bottom there. Something that I said a, a few weeks, oh, not a few weeks, but a week back or so, or, yeah, about a week back or so, uh, whether this was going to play out as a inverse head and shoulders or a bigger W pattern. That's what we were looking at, I think, because it looked... Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it this chart? Sorry, guys. I just have so many Bitcoin charts. <laughs> Let me see. BTC. BTC. Uh, perpetual. Yeah, this one. Oh, it was this one. Um, yeah, yeah. So are we going to actually hold that outside of this like we are now? We're we going to come down a bit deeper. We're just going to consolidate before dropping. Like, what's it going to do? With all this uncertainty in the world, it's ridiculous at the moment. So one thing I do want to bring all of your guys' attention to is the weekly time frame. And if we close as is right now, this is not good news, okay? So the weekly time frame, we look at historically, um, what it's doing right now historically has basically said it's going into a bear market. So if we just take off all the drawings, you can see here right now, this over here is a shooting star. This is very negative. You've 
come down amazing got a bullish reversal candlestick pattern but we are in a downtrend so bullish reversal candlestick patterns or just bullish patterns in general may work in the short term or not at all so here you got a nice little pump so it worked in the short term because you had the bullish candlestick and then it went up so it did what it should have but because we're in this downtrend and we're still actually printing weekly lower lows and weekly lower highs yes you might have a higher high of the wick but look where the body candle closes lower low we can check the rsi oh gosh higher well you do have higher highs here but that's uh, maybe not going to be some bearish divergence because of that wick so but either way forget about forget about rsi forget about divergences just look at price action and looking at the emas you can see we came below the emas this was obviously very negative but you're still above this uh, support wick so it was all good for continuation then you come back into it with an indecision candle because you're at support and resistance at the same time so no one's in power basically means that a decision will be made and you've got a bearish engulfing very negative change the sentiment of the market now very very bearish you lost this wick low so you got a day uh, a weekly and a daily downtrend so a weekly daily bear market bearish market in a monthly bull market as we know because we're still printing higher lows technically on the highest of time frames but on the weekly time frame right now what is very negative is this shooting star this is very bearish candlestick pattern you can see here where we had uh, wicks to the top here we had wicks to the top here we had wicks to the top it wants to drop so we're getting that now at resistance previous support flipped into resistance if this is confirmed obviously we've got a day and today we got basically until sunday midnight if this closes like this of course expect a dump you know what i mean this is not telling you guys oh this is a shooting star but it's going to go up we're at resistance you know what i mean we've got wicks to the top at resistance wicks to the top it wants to drop by next week you never know this candle uh this uh 20 ma when this weekly candle closes could be touching it and then that would be your retest of the 20 weekly basically sending you below continuing your downtrend closing you below the double brick wall this should be acting as a double brick wall we should have never have lost this you can see here we lost it got straight back above it we haven't seen that over here we were above it this week but of course now if we close below and we look historically you can see here you close below but got no retest of resistance you got straight back above positive but then we had uh, the c dump very negative and no retest of resistance just got straight back above it no wicks to the top on the line above the line positive here wicks to the top it wants to drop so let's get a blx chart because you can actually see the 55 bit clearer so here you got below got straight back above so a little fake out here just like what we saw over here came down got above came down there you go you got your retest then you got some wick over here bear market i don't think we have too much more data here wick wick to the top it wants to drop on the 55 you lost it you lost it here you're still above this low it's all fine then you lost the low ah bear market and you got above that low okay if we can confirm this low support then it's good then you lost it again ah bear market then you got above confirm that support all good and then you got that retest of the resistance and then lost that low over there again confirming your bear market basically so same thing over here if we get this uh, uh, shooting star now and then we go down and lose this low, bear market. Well, at least to these lows down here, 28 to 30K. And then I do think that that could hold because it's a very strong level that we just couldn't break previously. But again, when you t test something a million times, it gets weaker and weaker. And the longer you spend in support, the weaker it's getting, if you get what I mean. Because here, look at the instant reaction. You come down into it, had a crazy reaction, and here it's getting weaker because you're spending more time here. You're not getting a reaction from the chart. We should have got out of here quickly. And so if we come down to accumulate in this zone again, then maybe it's going to get so weak that on... Uh, on like it could keep attempting to break and on one attempt they might get lucky and completely break it just because of the time it's actually spending in this zone compared to before where it didn't like it at all effed off completely went up and then down here it's just spent months may until july so it spent at least two months in this area where i was like yeah support but it's not really doing much like i'm just chilling around here it's not sending me to resistance but then eventually it did like look here when you came down you had a quick reaction back up when you came down the second time it was hovering around hovering around and then obviously came back and then dumped it and then lost the low so it got a lot weaker now you had a retest of resistance here and with support at the same time so it's like more indecision and now you're coming back up into it so are we going to break it on this attempt well if it closes like this then it's obviously showing you that it does not want to break it it tried to break it but failed to so 
yeah, very negative candlestick. We need to really keep our eyes peeled on Bitcoin going forward because if Bitcoin's doing this, I'm telling you guys now, all the charts will be printing this. So Ethereum looking a little bit better. XRP, oof, <laughs> that's going to do a bearish cross soon. Basically saying that it might retest the lows. Yeah, oof, V chain weekly bearish cross. Quant, yeah, not good. Matic basically saying wants to go to the 55. That's negative on H bar. Elrond, decent, but it had a little pump. So if you close below that, negative. Fire negative. Like it's all negative, beat pro. Like it's not looking good after this dump, is it? And yes, I know on the smaller time frames, everyone's praying for this head and shoulders. So am I. But even now we've come into the level that we wanted. I'm still not confident in buying. You know that, guys, because of what is going on in the world. Forget about just crypto. What is going on in the world right now? There's a the talk that potential. You know what I mean with the uh, don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, we need to really keep our eyes peeled on what's going on in the world right now, because any that could be a black swan event. You know what I mean? People are saying nah, it can't be foreseen. It can't be foreseen. Well, we knew COVID was around and then the, oh, I shouldn't have said it. We knew C was around and C still happened. And look what happened to the charts afterwards. So if we know what's happening in Russia and people are like, nah, nah, it has to be unforeseeable. Well, still, it's still going to affect the chart if it happens. You know what I mean? So. That's why I'm still 50%, 45%, 50% out of crypto. And yeah, at the moment, all I want to do is trade. But still, you don't want to swing trade. You just want to scalp at the moment. So guys, these are my crypto packages. Let's bring you over to the one-on-one -on -one mentorship where it's 650 pounds, one-off payment. You will get video call lessons with me over a one month period. We will do one or two hour lessons every single day and you don't need any prior knowledge whatsoever. You can have zero, you can already be an advanced or intermediate trader. My job here is to 10X your learning curve. Everything that I'm teaching you has taken me over three years to gather and cost me over 10,000 pounds, whether that was good courses, bad courses, mistakes, scams, or whatever it was. It cost me over 10,000 pounds to get all this information that I'm personally teaching you. I also had to pay for my mentor uh, over $2,000 for a two hour lesson. So what you're getting for this price is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you also get the six hour crypto course included in this price, as well as the signals chat until the top of the bull market. Now let's move over to the signals chat. I wouldn't call it signals. This is just basically a group where I post what I'm personally doing, my thoughts on the market, if I think it's going up or down. So there's daily chart updates, but also, yeah throughout the day what I'm thinking or where I'm buying, where I'm selling, where I'm looking to accumulate or obviously get out the market. This is what's in the crypto chat and that's £25 for your first month and £40 onwards. Then we can move over to the six hour crypto course. There are over 35 plus videos in this. You don't need any prior knowledge to start. You can be beginner, intermediate or advanced level trader. My job here is to 10x your learning curve, to make you into that self-sufficient trader, to make you into a trader that doesn't need outsider's help. Not my help, not any YouTuber's help or any crappy <laughs> group chat. So if you're interested in this, you also do get a one-on-one -on -one mentorship lesson with me at the end of the course, so you can get any questions answered. So you're clear and you know exactly what to do going forward. If you're interested in any of these packages, then please go to my Twitter at Louis underscore crypto and literally comment down below and just say, Louis, I'm interested and I'll personally private message you to see if you qualify for any of these packages. Thank you guys for listening, watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.